Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of DIY computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to factory reset your Dell computer. The first way that I'm going to show you assumes your computer turns on and works well and you can navigate your desktop. Uh, the second option I'll show you, let's say you cannot fully boot your computer, Windows is not fully loading, I'll show you how to factory reset two different ways. Before we get going guys, a quick word from my sponsor that makes a lot of my videos possible. Nice hash. Nice hash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that power in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some side money with no work. It's a great way to start investigating and learning the world of crypto without risking an investment. You can check them out here or I'll fill you in more at the end of the video. So now let's get into the project. Okay, so now that we're on our desktop, you're going to go down to the bottom of your screen to your search bar, click in there. You're going to type in the word reset. Uh, the best match will come up, reset this PC under system settings, we'll click there. On your next screen, uh, scroll down a little bit, you'll see under recovery options, reset this PC, and it says choose to keep or remove your personal files, then reinstall Windows. Uh, so we'll have the option to do either, to keep our files or to completely reset everything. Then to do that, you'll click on Reset PC. So here's where you make that choice. You have Keep Files on top, Removes Apps and Settings, but Keeps Your Personal Files. The second option on bottom says Remove Everything. Uh, removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So you'll have to choose which one of these you want to proceed with. If you want some more background information um, to help you make your choice on which things will be deleted and which things will be saved, you can click on this button here, help me choose, and that'll give you a little more information on that. So because I have to choose one for the video, I'm gonna select keep my files. Uh, that way my data isn't deleted, but all my settings and things are. So I'll click on that first one, getting things ready. And then how would you like to reinstall Windows? Cloud download, uh, download and reinstall Windows or local reinstall uh, from this device. So I'm gonna click on local reinstall and I'm gonna hit next. So here again, it gives me some more information on exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, changing settings back to their defaults, but I am keeping personal files. Uh, reinstall Windows and then remove all apps and programs. So that's what I wanna do. Again, if this isn't what you wanna do, go back and uh, do some more research. Um, on which option you want or select the other option. But I wanna proceed with this, I'm gonna hit reset. And there it goes, status preparing 1%. And this will progress throughout the reset process. Another thing to note guys, when you're doing this, please remember that your computer is plugged in and charging. Um, if your computer is not plugged in and you run out of power through a factory reset, uh, that could damage your operating system to the point where it cannot be reset and you would have to reinstall it new. So make sure your operating system is not damaged by keeping your computer plugged in. So that's how you would factory reset your computer if it turned on and worked well and you could navigate those options from your desktop. If you cannot fully boot up your computer, let's say something's going wrong at startup and Windows isn't fully loading, one of your troubleshooting options is trying to factory reset. Uh, so I'm gonna show you now how to factory reset from your startup options. But keep in mind, this is only one of the troubleshooting methods and this assumes that the reason why your computer is not booting up is because of an operating system issue. If your computer is not booting up, there could be other reasons stopping it from booting up besides an operating system issue. So a factory reset may not be just a magic fix. If you want help troubleshooting whatever issue you're going through, leave me a comment. Uh, check out the FAQs below and I can help you out. Uh, but again, if you wanna see how to factory reset from your startup options, I'll show you that now. So now I'm gonna hit the power button and start tapping on F11 right away. It says entering factory recovery, so I would stop typing, or I would stop tapping on that key. If you don't see that, then you would keep tapping on it to access those options. Okay, so here's the screen that we wanted. Uh, you can continue to Windows 11, uh, use a device, troubleshoot, that's what we want is troubleshoot, so we'll come down here. And there's your option right there, reset this PC. Let's you choose to keep or remove your personal files and then reinstall Windows, so we'll click on that. And then there are your options, just like we saw um, in, in Windows 11. You have both options here, keep my files on top or remove everything down bottom. So we'll click on one of those. And then just like before, it asks us for the cloud download or the local reinstall. Uh, I'm gonna select local reinstall. You can choose whatever's better for you.
And then here are your options again, just to make sure that you know what's gonna happen. Uh, changing settings back to their defaults again, keeping personal files, reinstall Windows, and then removing all apps that didn't come with the computer. So reset to progress on forward, and it will complete the resetting process now. So there you have it guys, that's how you would factory reset your computer a couple different ways. If you have any questions or comments, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I try to get to those as often as possible. As always, please remember to like and share if this did help you out, if you think it could help someone else out. And if you enjoy DIY computer upgrade and repair videos, please subscribe. And now as promised before, a few extra words on my sponsor NiceHash. So as I mentioned guys, NiceHash, they are the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you again is you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to crypto miners and get paid for that power in Bitcoin. It's a great way to put your computer to work when you're not working. It's a great way to start dabbling in the world of crypto without risking an investment. You already own your computer. Most of us have computers far more powerful than we need day to day and this is a great way to get some money back on that. And for those of you that want to be more more adventurous, you can use their research tools to research other cryptocurrencies, see what they're doing. You can use their exchange to trade your Bitcoin for other kind of cryptocurrencies. And if you want to take your own stab at mining, you can use their various mining tools, including Team Miner, Easy Miner. You can use these things to rent out hash power from others and try your own hand at mining. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for all things crypto. It's the best thing to know if you're looking to get into that world. You can check them out here or again, leave me any questions or comments and I'll try to help you out. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.